Hi Pisces, welcome to Ashuna's Tarot. I went ahead and pre-shuffled and laid out the spread. Um, if you're waiting on a private reading, those are being uploaded today and tomorrow, so check your inbox. If you would like a private reading, all the information's in the description box below. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, Pisces. Um, again, excuse the hand, I had a bit of an accident today um, with a cat and some wire. So uh, I'm going to just keep my hand to the side here. So let's go ahead and get started, Pisces. King of Cups in the reverse is a general energy, all right? Followed by the Temperance, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Sun. So this is actually really interesting, okay? This dynamic here, I'm going to be really honest, somebody, this is somebody outside of you, okay? So again, it may not resonate for everybody, but for the ones that it does, you're going to acknowledge like you'll know right away what this energy and what this dynamic is in your life. But an energy came into your life that tried to destabilize you. And again, it feels a little bit like a continuation of the last reading that I did. Because with the King of Cups in the reverse, again, you are Pisces. You are a water sign. King of Cups is your card. But in the reverse, it's like somebody came in here and I don't know if they were triggered or I don't know what happened. Like whether it was the way that you carried yourself the way that you spoke your demeanor your personality like everything about you it's like when people see the level of maturity that you're on it's like they want to see if it's like if it's all talk or if it's like for real like they want to like kind of like test it like I, I don't know how to explain this energy it feels like a real like sneaky energy like the fox kind of energy I don't have like the animal totem uh, cards but basically like the it's really interesting when you like read through like spirit animals and like the animal totems and what they signify because the energy archetype can really describe how the energy is felt but this energy is like kind of like an energy that's like poking around poking around like are you really about it pisces like it's like an energy that tries to get you out of character does that make sense it's like they see how mature you are how elegant you are how well spoken you are uh how you carry yourself all right how you treat others how you like your position in life, like you've earned it, you've done the work, okay? King of Cups is somebody who's mastered themselves, mastered their emotions. That's one of the hardest things that people can do, all right? A lot of people out there have valued more like the IQ, right? But EQ, emo emotional intelligence, is so much more powerful if it is used correctly. Um, and so what I'm getting here with this information is that Pisces, you've been through a lot of trials and tribulations. You've been seasoned. You've matured. You've grown into this position in your life where you choose to be the bigger person, okay? And I know it's not the most fun way to say it, but the reason why, Pisces, is because spirit has given you priority, okay? Spirit has given you gifts that many people don't have. You've just gotten used to them, Pisces, but not a lot of people have the gifts or the priority or the position that you have in the spirit realm, okay? Your guides, your angels, spirit, they prioritize you and they love you. Why, Pisces? Because you've been doing the work and you've been showing up and because time after time when spirit trusted you with more responsibility, right, over other people, over certain situations, you've proved to be the bigger person, Pisces. And so time after time, little by little, spirit has been giving you more privilege, more priority, more spiritual gifts, more guidance, more powers, okay? Because spirit has seen that you always use them for good. And so you are not the type of person to flaunt that, Pisces. As you can see, he's dressed very casual. He's the king. He has his crown. But he's dressed very casual, again, just a t-shirt, jeans, you know. Um, but the way that he carries himself, his character, his demeanor, his energy just feels very seasoned, very mature. Like you know you're sitting down on the table with a king. Like you know who the king is in this energy. Like when you walk into the room, people feel your energy. It shifts the entire room. And so what I'm getting with the king of cups in the reverse, all right, is that, and again, this is like the fox energy. Like there's people around you that are like, okay, is Pisces really about it? Like, like they're trying, like they're trying to see you get out of character, okay? Like I know it's really shady and I know it's a really sneaky energy, Pisces, but that's what this feels like, King, King of Cups in the reverse. It's like they, they're they waiting for an opportunity to where they can see you get out of character, so where they can see you just react and lose it. But you don't. It's like you always hold it down. It's like you're always cool, calm, collected, composed, 
like you know your worth like you're not going to anybody like you sit at your table and people are coming to you and again this feels very energetic i'm not sure why it's coming in this way but again it didn't it didn't just come from one day to another it's like temperance you've had to and again temperance has been coming out so many times like i think three times in a row in a, in a reading but temperance is like you've been doing the work on yourself pisces that balancing out of your darkness with your light that is how you built your character that is how you even got your wings and how you got anointed and so what i'm getting here is there's energies around you that want to see you get out of character like they want to see you take like the it's like if you were to react or if you were to complain or if you were to have a little moment of, of weakness it's like they would just be like aha like we caught you like we we knew you weren't about it it's like it's like they kind of want to poke around for that kind of reaction they kind of want to poke around for you to get out of character and again that is not who you are pisces you've matured and, and you've achieved this very high position because you've been going through the motions you've been doing the work and that's how you earn this position but it's not going to take away from the people around you that kind of want to influence you in a certain way or want to see you kind of, I don't know, maybe even go down to their level so that they can feel better about themselves. Because when you're around people, Pisces, it forces them to upgrade. It forces them to do the work. It forces them to become better versions of themselves. Like it just naturally happens, Pisces. You just have that energy about you that when you come clear or, or um, sorry, when you come when people step into your vortex, I, I guess this is a better way to place the energy. But when people step into your vortex, they're immediately challenged. Not that you're challenging them. You're not competing with anybody at all. But they feel immediately challenged to do better. It's like their excuses, their justifications, it all falls to the ground when they step into your vortex. Because they see that you're not somebody that just talks to talks but walks to walk. So if Pisces can do it, if Pisces has achieved it, then what excuse do I have for myself? And so again, some of them start doing the work to get to your level, okay? Like you motivate them in a positive way, but a lot of them would rather find excuses and justification and they'd rather get you out of character so that they can feel better about themselves. That's how the energy is coming in, okay? So Pisces, what I'm getting with the King of Cups in the reverse is like that's how they want to see you. But the reality of the situation is that you've done a lot of work on yourself. And you're never going to be that person because you're not just talking the talk, you've walked the walk. Like, your character is not something that can be bought or it's not something that you can fake till you make. It's like you have your character because you've built it through this transmutation process. And now, the reason why you have this position in life is because you've done the work. And so people see you and they say, well, what's so different between me and Pisces? Like, why, why does Pisces have this and not me? Like, you know, a lot of people make uh, assumptions that are not true, that are not real. And so again, I feel that fox energy, like this very sneaky kind of energy that is like trying to poke around, trying to get dirt on you. But again, the reality of the situation is that you're honest. Everything, like you're an open book. Like if people were to ask you for help or like they would ask you how you made it to this level or how you made it past certain things or how you built yourself up, like you're in an open book, like you would communicate with them, you would grant them the clarity. But again, these energies don't necessarily want that because then they would have to do the work to get to that level and they don't want to. They'd rather stick to the illusions, they'd rather stick to the assumptions because it's easier for them. It's a lot easier for them to do that than to do the work and get to your level. So again, I'm not sure if this dynamic is unfolding like in your workplace or within your family members or within your community, wherever this is, it feels like energy is external to you, kind of want to see you in this King of Cups in the reverse uh, kind of energy. Because for some reason, it's like they don't want to accept the fact that you've yourself made, that everything that they see and everything that you have achieved is because you've put in the work. Because you've done the work of focusing on yourself rather than other people. Like, they would rather talk about others, sit around in a group and discuss other people, instead of looking within themselves. What are the things that I can improve? How can I give back to myself? How can I get to these next levels in my life? They don't want that. They'd rather stay in this place of like, oh, I didn't know, or justification, or illusion. Because if they were to, if they were to admit that 
they're not showing up as their higher self or that they could be doing more in life, they'd be forced to take a leap of faith. They'd be forced to um, go after the things that they're being guided to, but they just don't have it in them the way that you do, Pisces. They don't. And so that's the reason why they want to poke around and see you get out of character. Um, and so again, at the end of the day, what I'm seeing here is you've done the work and this is why you've earned this position of the Queen of Pentacles. Okay? You're getting a lot of clarity on why certain people have acted a certain way towards you. Like why some people were a little bit deceptive uh, uh, around you or um, towards you. But your happiness is coming from the fact that you've, you've conquered it all um, yourself. Again, with the help of your guides, with the help of your angels and your higher self. But you know that it's not all talk. Like It's like you can prove it. You can back it up. And that's where your happiness comes from. Your, ha your happiness comes from the fact that everything that you've done is real. Okay? That everything that you've wanted to try out, that everything you've wanted to experience, you've done it. You've taken the steps. And that's where your happiness stems. Okay? That's where it comes from. It doesn't come from, again, excusing or uh, being blindfolded or not taking those leaps of faith. No, for you, it's like it, it's been about taking those leaps of faith. It's been about taking those risks to build your character, to build the person who you truly want to be. And again, Pisces, you, you've achieved it. And this is the reason why you get to sit on the throne. But again, don't allow these energies to come in or to try and poke around or to try and get you out of character. Always remain cool, calm, and collected. Again, she's not going after anybody. She is not reactive. She's sitting on her throne and people come to her. Okay? And she always responds. She never reacts. So again, don't allow any of these energies to kind of like poke at you or anything uh, like that. I, I don't know why that energy is coming in strongly. But yes, Pisces, you're, you're on the right path, okay? The way that you've been built, the way that your character has developed has really set you up for this successful, abundant period in your life where people are either looking up to you to learn from you or just maybe to talk about you. Again, you can't control what other people are going to do, but they'd rather do that than start doing the work on themselves. With Pisces, that's not a reflection of you. That's a reflection of them. Continue being who you are, Pisces. Continue sitting on your throne because, again, you're not chasing, you're not seeking, you're not reacting, you're responding. They're coming to you. Okay? And there's a reason for this, Pisces. There's a reason for this. Spirit wants to see who, who are the humble students in life. Because if they were humble enough to ask you how you achieve certain things and, and ask you for guidance... You would help them, Pisces. You're the queen of pentacles. You're so abundant and so overgiving that you would love the opportunity to share that with them and help them. You're not a selfish person. But they want to paint the picture of the king of cups in the reverse, which is not true. It is not a reality. And you know that, Pisces. So again, don't allow them to kind of, uh, I don't know, poke at you or try and get you to react to something. Continue doing what you're doing, okay? Because they're getting attracted to you, but some people want to come around for are ulterior motives like they have an agenda to try and kind of i don't know poke around and see what they can find on you um but pisces there's there's nothing that you're hiding it's like this transformation glows on you it glows on you like you have that glow about you you have that energy about you because you've done the work again nothing that you can buy nothing that you can fake it's something that you've done that you've achieved that you've accomplished and this is why they're even being, like, this is why they're even gravitating towards you in the first place. Um, so yeah, Pisces, don't, don't allow them to, don't allow them to divert your energy. Like, you shouldn't worry about them. Like, um, whatever they're doing behind the scenes, it is not going to affect you. You're divinely protected. But again, I do, I do see that you're starting to notice these energies around you. So again, I'm not sure if you're like in the workplace or in your family, in your home. I don't know where this is coming from, but I'm picking up that you have felt this underhanded energy, like this undercurrent, but you didn't necessarily know why it was there or where it was coming from. But that's the reason Pisces is it's just that they see you in this position, this very prosperous, abundant position. And instead of learning from you and asking you and being humble enough to learn from you, They'd rather talk about it. They'd rather poke around. They'd rather try and find skeletons in the closet or find dirt on you so that they can excuse themselves and paint the picture that is not true. Okay, so Pisces, again, don't allow these energies to divert your energy or to take any of your mind space. Again, Ace of Swords, you, you're very clear-minded. You have all the information that you need to move forward. Don't allow them to take any space in your mind. 
Um, so Pisces, this is all I have for this reading. Um, if you would like a private reading, the information's, the information's in the description box below. Um, again, everything is the same email, ashunastero at gmail.com. Um, so yeah, this is all I have for this reading. Pisces, blessings, take care.